The last Assassin's Creed ended on a bit of a cliffhanger with Desmond stabbing Lucy and watching her die in front of him. This latest game in the Assassin's Creed series not only starts where the last one ended, but also goes back into the memories of Ezio and Altair as Desmond falls into a coma and uses the Animus to try and put his jumbled head back together from within. The main story is told through an older Ezio as he tries to find the lost keys to Altair's hideout in Turkey's Istanbul or Constantinopolis it was then called. After a poor start which involves a frustrating set piece involving a ride on a horse-drawn carriage, the game begins proper as you get a tour of the city and learn that the Templars are everywhere and need to be kicked out so you can set up dens for your team of assassins. Whilst fighting and moving about the city, Ezio has some new abilities up his sleeve thanks to his new friend Yusuf. These include a hook blade, which you can use to clamber up buildings, latch onto edges and slide along zip lines. You're also encouraged to craft a variety of bombs which can be used to kill, distract if you want to be sneaky, or disorientate your foes if you're in combat. If you've played the previous games, the format is very familiar. You perform missions that progress the story, side quests that let you recruit more assassins, which you can then send on missions to increase influence and wealth, repair buildings and shops, and of course sync with the map at the top of the tallest towers in the city. Unfortunately, little things which annoy me still haven't been fixed, including accidentally pickpocketing people when fast walking through a crowd and jumping to your death by accident. You could say this is down to user error, but tweaking these would make the game flow better. They've also added a really annoying mission for recapturing contested dens, where you have to build fortresses and place arches on buildings to stop the advancing troops. I know games should innovate, but this aspect of the game really feels out of place and is more akin to strategy games, which I like about as much as a poke in the eye. Multiplayer is back with a whole load of new modes to try, including various on capture the flag, conquest mode and death matches. Old faves are still there though, including Manhunt and Wanted, and once again they're all well balanced and great fun to play. So to sum things up, this game's more of the same with a few additions that you'll either like or not care for. Oh, and I almost forgot, you also get to play as Altair's memories as you recover those keys, so if you're a fan of the very first game, then there's something for you here as well. Assassin's Creed Revelation suffers from the same problems as Arkham City, in that they've almost put too many things into the game that it's a bit over facing. Still, if you want value for money, this one will keep you playing for ages. It gets an excellent 8 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com